Glock 41. <laughs> Back check JW. Uh, the big long slide 45 ACP. Uh, two of my favorite auto cartridges, 9mm, 45 ACP. Uh, people say, oh, Bat Jack, why would you buy that thing? Well, I've had the 34, which is long slide 9mm Glock for a while. I like it. And started looking into this one. So I did a review on one of these some way some time back on the channel. Was, uh, somebody lent, me, lent it to me. So uh, hard to kind of go back and gauge that again now that I'm interested in them. Um, so one of the, I'm just going to cover things that I thought that um, I wanted to really things that I want to know before uh, having like a shop order this for me or not. Uh, I really wanted to check one out physically first, uh, get it in my hands, feel it and see, you know, cause I thought, man, that thing is gonna, you know, I was my only reference really as far as handling one is the Glock 21. And this is not really, this is not just a 21 with an extended slide and barrel. It really isn't. So let's go ahead and uh, take a, take a look at it and I of course I did some trading so I traded some stuff for it uh, I got the gun and some cash so that's not a bad deal at all so I uh, got it it is used but hardly used uh, that was one thing I noticed that uh, whoever had this previously did not uh, fire it very much there wasn't much wear there and um, there wasn't uh, much wear on the barrel as there would be uh, and of course I've been firing it quite a bit I've put at least a couple hundred rounds through it already so magazine from what i understand is a standard 21 magazine but uh, my biggest concern was that grip what's that grip going to feel like i have tiny hands and i didn't want that thing to feel like you know like a you're wielding a two by four so grip wise comparison and uh, i got the 34 here to compare to it and the 34 is basically the same frame as a uh, 17 if you're familiar with that don't mind my paint job on the 34, but the thickness is not that much, uh, not that much thicker, really isn't. Uh, you can see down there, side by side, just not that much. Uh, it's not enough to uh, break the deal, at least for me. I, I mean, for me, that's, it wasn't enough to break the deal on it. I thought, you know what, I can live with that. That's not that bad. I almost want to say, is it, does it feel, thinner than the 21. I don't know. I, I don't have a 21 next to it to, to comparison to that, but I definitely am starting to think that. I've had, I put this in somebody else's hands too that uh, was a, a familiar with the 21 and even they said, you know what, I think this is, uh, this might be thinner, but I do know the slide is. That was something that intrigued me. That was something that really, I really, man, when I heard that, I said, really? I got to check one out. So let's go ahead and compare it to the 34 slide. Here it is side to side, the 34, obviously with a cutout. This does not have the cutout. And one thing I did notice um, upon um, doing this, I didn't realize that <laughs> if you really want to, I mean, the slide on the, on the 41 is a tad, tad longer, just a tad. Not enough to make a difference or, but I've, I, I kind of thought that was interesting because I didn't realize that until I kind of looked at it. But look at that. They're really, I mean, without uh, getting all scientific on you or, you know, down to a, a pinpoint, I, I just, naked eye, they're the same. They really are the same. And let's look at the, the thickness down on the rail and the sidewalls. That was one thing that once I heard that, the, you know, indeed, this was something that they did, ah, this really intrigued me. I really started thinking hard on getting one of these. Like I said, I... I wasn't really uh, willing to shell out the, the cash full-blown retail for one and have somebody order it for me. But when I when the opportunity arose where this was barely used, sitting in a shop, uh, I was I had the, something to trade. I, I just had to go ahead and do it. Um, I just really... Uh, barrel, I, I did uh, hear or read that the barrel is a little bit thinner than the 21, so it's not as everything is not as bulky. Um, I'm not, I guess I'm not, the fan, I'm not a fan of the 21. I, you know, if it works for you, great, more power to you. Uh, it didn't work for me. Didn't like it. Um, uh, same thickness really as a 1911 barrel. If you're familiar with those, uh, I know some people go, oh, a thinner barrel, but the 1911 has been accomplishing that for over a hundred years and seems to be fine. So 
overall, I, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I've shot it quite a bit at the range. Uh, I've probably put a, a good 250 rounds through it or so. Uh, magazines, same as the 21 from what I understand, 13 and 1. That's pretty neat. There's a, there's it side by side to a 9mm magazine. Obviously the 9mm <laughs> magazine, quite a bit of room in there. <laughs> but uh, again, uh, you know, those were some of the bases I wanted to cover. Really the things that I was concerned with. I was concerned with the, the how that grip was going to feel, if it was going to fit my hand okay. And again, I have you know, tiny hands and uh, I like it. It uh, does not... Um, it's not oversized. I think any any wider or thicker or something like that probably would have been a deal breaker for me. I probably wouldn't have liked it. But overall, I, I do like it. And that's what I got now. And that's where I'm kind of at with uh, this kind of, uh, you know, workhorse pistols, you know, that I call them. That's all that, you know, for me, they're just uh, they're ones I can, you know, run hard and put them away wet and it doesn't matter. Um, that's what I like them. Uh, that's like, well, that's what I like them for. Uh, is it pretty? Not really. Depends who you're talking to. Um, uh, in the, you know, in the, uh, the looks department. Yeah. Come on. 1911. I'm a 1911 guy. It's always going to be the winner, but it's a workhorse gun for me. That's what it is. So, um, you know, being, I got the 34 in nine. Now I got the 45. There it is. That's what I, that's what kind of, Two of my favorite cartridges. I'm probably going to change out the the sights, although they do work pretty well for me, but I don't like the fact that I would rather have them been the standard, you know, Glock sight that, you know, everybody kind of either loves or hates or, you know, either they're neutral on it or whatnot. I don't like the fact that I never did like the adjustable sights. I never really did because it's just, it's something fragile. I feel like it could just strip out with the little screws and everything like that. So, and also somebody put a different backplate on it. It originally came with one of those backplates that had some writing on it or something like that. I really am not into that at all. I painted over mine. In fact, I sanded that stuff off and then painted over it. I'm just going to go in online and pay the three bucks and get an actual uh, Glock part to replace that with. Cause I kind of like to keep mine on that aspect of stock you know the sights i'll change out sights as you can see i got the excess big dot sights on this one which i like a lot because i can't see very well <laughs> anyway there it is glock uh, 41 just a kind of a rundown on stuff that i wanted to know when i was looking around for one and shopping around for it so um there it is am i happy with it yeah i like it it's pretty good I uh, like the 45 ACP and this one was not uh, not used too much. You know, you didn't see too much wear there and didn't see too much of the wear on the barrel. Of course, uh, I've been firing it quite a bit, so I see a little bit right there. But uh, overall, it was probably not fired very much and hasn't hiccuped at all. I haven't had any issues with it and been just running it, running it, running it. So there you go. Batchack JW, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on another video.